Right, this is just a quick bit for to show how to get the, the Canny SM uh, projection. And so I've gone to Climate Explorer. I'm going to go down over here to select a field. I'm going to pick the monthly CMIT5 scenario runs. Uh, and then I probably, like there's only a few variables here. I probably want a surface variable, so they're at the top. I'm just going to pick the temperature at this at the at the surface this is the air temperature at the surface so TAS maximum no minimum surface air temperature during the day maximum daily surface air temperature precipitation uh, evaporation or this in evaporation from the soil boundary layer precipitation minus evaporation uh, relative uh, specific humidity uh, can't remember what that one is and the sea level pressure go down from our model uh, the can ESM I've just gone past it uh, RCP 4.5 I'm going to pick that go back up press select we'll have a little think and then I'm going to put in a mask I've already I've practiced, so here you go. Uh, if I've signed in, and I, I have signed in already, uh, I could add a mask. And there's a variety of different masks that you can load in, like the IPCC regions or some countries. I'm not going to bother with that, I'm just going to specify a lat long box. Uh, in this case, somewhere over Canada. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm going to go make time series. Now there are five different simulation, five different ensemble members, so it's going to show me all five. So that means it takes a little bit longer to actually compute, uh, and and so I can see it's having a good think about it because uh, this is fairly awkward. <coughs> uh, here we go. It's done it. So this is remember this is monthly surface air temperature. It's presented as a change in here. I'm going to get something a bit more conventional, so I'm not going to look at the extension. So I'm just going to go from 1850 to 2100. Uh, all of these uh, simulations have uh, oh, all these. Sim sorry. All the simulations, all the scenario ones have the same historical run uh, concatenated onto them at the beginning, so they look fairly similar. And here we go. And the final thing I think I'm going to do is to convert to an annual mean and make a time series of the annual mean down here to create a lower resolution time series. And uh, that's what we look like. And. Well, this box I randomly thought of as Canada it looks like it's warming by quite a lot. In fact, if I just go from pre, go from roughly pre-industrial conditions, uh, it'll look like it's warming by four and a half degrees. Okay. Uh, the other way of doing it that might be more useful if you don't care about a particular model is to go to the climate change atlas in this top corner up here uh, and then you can select and then this is just like a, an online appendix for the IPCC uh, 2013 report I'm going to pick Canada I'm going to the standard thing is to do a map normally and then you can look at the difference over Canada for the two regions uh, it might take a little while to think about but we'll have a go nope because I've already processed it and so it decides to select it this way and this was what it con considers as Canada uh, and and that's just a sort of a very standard IPCC style ensemble mean map what might also more analogous to what we've done is uh, to pick the time series there are different data sets here you can pick so you can pick observations and do the same analysis with the observations you can pick the extremes and then you get a series of different extremes like the total precipitation when it's raining or the number of frost days. Uh, what might be quite 
useful to do is just pick the IPCC Atlas set. I've just gone for summer here. Uh, I'd set this earlier and not and not changed it. So this is June for three months. So that's JJA, and then pick time series and uh, take the anomalies with respect to something for this 4.5 run. I've actually done this already, so you can have the classic. Here's one I prepared earlier. It takes a little while to chunk through. It does all the ensemble members. You can see them all being here. And then it creates a plot looking something like this at the end. 